So today I have a special Crazy Tribe Cycle tr treat for you all. This is Massive Attack Red Line. We did it in two hits. Typically the best you're going to do on a Red Line that has any type of rocket launchers here is three. Obviously these two rocket launchers are a problem. However, with the we took Tribes into effect and with the smoke decrease cost tribe we thought we could do it and it was pulled off perfectly so the first hit is done by plank and we knew he needed to get these rocket launchers and then also clear around here because there was just no way that the final hitter was going to be able to clear everything around the core and drop the core even with the zooka damage increase so this is a 6-4 account, and what he's going to do now is he starts off by clearing the mines you need to. And this is a path that we use a lot when it's necessary to hack, let's say, a full row of rockets. What you do is you'll throw your flare up right between the two SGs here, and you'll land spark just to the left of midline. So if this shock launcher is midline, you layer just to the left of there. So it's not going to cost you extra smoke horizontally. But what it's going to do is make her walk on the left side of these shock launchers. And I love what Plink did here. A lot of people, when they're smoking Spark, they don't think about where they're going enough. He, ha he needed to cover Spark right above the SGs here. But he also knew where he was going to end up going, which is this one. So he threw a smoke that did both of those things. So you're going to see just a standard double hack, marking the one rocket launcher, flaring the other, and then hitting hack as soon as you can. Boom, boom. Cool. After that, he clears the mines that are necessary. And he's about to do a two smoke drop. As he doesn't have a hero, the two smoke drop is a bit easier. But he does just a phenomenal job at it. Landing right at the edge of that smoke there. Using every single centimeter. You see before he flares, he actually lets some of the girls start walking towards these rocket launchers. What that's going to do is it will spread them out vertically. But in this instance, you're actually more worried about spreading them out horizontally and peeking in these rocket launchers, killing the girls. He does a nice one med kit over the two barbed wire, and you'll see the girls spread out extremely vertically from here. And he knew that these lagging girls weren't going to be that big of a deal. He's outside of any type of mass damage, splash damage. And you'll see his smokes get, you could call them sloppy, but what he's doing is just saving GBE with the peak right around there. He throws the critters out just to save as many Zookas as possible. Again, shocking just to save as many Zookas as possible. The crazy thing about this tribe is after all that smoke, I think it was 16, he still got up there and had like 64 GBE and is obviously farming. And he hadn't used a critter or shock yet, so they were both pretty cheap and he was able to continue to keep going. I'll just speed this up. Instead of doing a two-part series, I'm just going to show the second head as well. So what, he, what you typically do here is the person up here clearing has spark with them. Obviously, he could not in this case. And you can just hit hack a couple times, and these defenses will go down. So in this case, he went over there to try to get as many of the sniper towers on that side as possible. And then he ends up trying to retreat just to save and do a little bit of damage onto the core. Nothing substantial there. Great open by Plink. Just shows how crazy these tribe cycles are. Get creative with your prep hits, especially rush hits. You're still going to have the huge cost of shocks. But these prep hits, when you 
need to do a lot of spark work can really get fun. So let's go ahead and look at the second hit done by Billy. So here's the second hit done by Billy. As you can see, he, he decides to do a three smoke land because the most important thing is just getting the girls up there. Um, with the cheap smokes, it's not a big deal whatsoever to use extra smoke. And with the hero, it makes it a lot easier. Again, allowing the Zookas to go towards these rocket launchers before doing the flare a little bit. Keeps them, you'll see them nice and tight. I believe he does peak just a little bit, but he has, but he had delay, so not a big deal. A little bit different on their flare points. Billy flared above this tower, where Plank flared below. That's just a preference, something you'll do the more you do, you do this base. Find what you like. So in this hit, it's particularly important to make sure that Spark doesn't get taken or shot at before your girls get up there because spark is faster. So that's why he continues to smoke and again, very sloppy smokes because there's only single shot defenses around and you're just trying to save spark pretty much. He gets up there and throws one more smoke. Typically what I would do in this situation is maybe throw a critter up there well in advance to get the attention of all these different weapons that might harm spark. So he gets up there, his girls are targeting, he shocks these just because he can and he has the GBE, pulls off a hack, and then a double hack. Unfortunately, there just wasn't a whole lot around this top, top sniper tower to, to get it down, so you'll see he actually does two more hacks on it. Fortunately, these towers all target this tower and not spark. Just beautiful timing with that hack. If you hit it just a tad too early, you then have Spark going after something else, and that would be tragic and end up in her death. And as you can see, Spark is spawning critters, just distracting these things. And I mean, it's just your standard free snipe at this point. I would have pulled Spark back by doing a flare behind the girls there. But he wasn't really worried about the health. That thing was going down. I don't remember how much time was left, but there was more than enough. So crazy tribe cycle, guys. It's a lot of fun. Hope you're enjoying it. Happy booming.